Are you struggling to create high quality images with stable diffusion? Do your images look so warped and deformed that you're wondering what all the AI hype is about? Let me introduce you to diffusion models and show you how you can use these models to match your creative vision. But first I wanna tell you about OpenCV's exciting new Kickstarter. OpenCV is offering two cutting edge courses that will help you master the art of AI generated images. The first course, AI Art Generation for Everyone, is perfect for artists, designers, and creators of all levels. No programming skills needed. You'll learn how to integrate AI tools into your creative projects and master prompt crafting. For creators with basic programming knowledge, the course Advanced AI Art Generation will take your skills to the next level and show you how diffusion models work. Today's video showcases different diffusion models, but imagine creating your very own diffusion model. You can with the help of this course. OpenCV is known for well-crafted courses with practical exercises and thoughtful design. OpenCV is perfect for programmers seeking to deepen their AI knowledge, and during the Kickstarter campaign, courses are deeply discounted. Scan the QR code or click the link in the description below to head over to the Kickstarter page. If you've not explored Stable Diffusion before, it is an AI image generator like Midjourney and DALI. Stable Diffusion is now on version 2.1, but many creators like the older version 1.5 better. There are many ways to access Stable Diffusion, including web-based programs like Dream Studio. Stable Diffusion was trained on billions of images, and the results can be breathtakingly beautiful. But sometimes the images are just too general in style and lack specific details. The magic of Stable Diffusion lies in the prompting and the use of fine-tuned Stable Diffusion models. These stable diffusion models are trained on very specific images. The images may have a unique style or content. The same prompt in different stable diffusion models will get you a very different style of image. Want all of your images to look like they came from a Disney Pixar movie? Or want all of your images to be double exposures? There are models for that. Or maybe your aesthetic is more anime. Or maybe sci-fi. There's probably a stable diffusion model out there for you. There are a lot of stable diffusion models out there, some are better than others. Luckily, there are helpful websites that collect stable diffusion models, making them easy to use. Let me show you two of these. Mage Space and Instant Art host many different stable diffusion models, each with a unique look and flavor. Let's start with Instant Art. When you open Instant Art, it looks like a basic AI image generator. But click on Model ID and you'll see the difference. You can choose from over 30 different stable diffusion models. From anything, which focuses on anime, to Tron and Robo Diffusion that create robots or scenes from the movie Tron with lots of neon and smoke. You can even try a stable diffusion model tuned to create mid-journey like images. Simply type your prompt into the box and choose your model. You have some aspect ratio options and you can change the guidance scale. You can also select the number of images that you want. But you want to know the best bit about Instant Art? It's free. There's a slight catch though, it's not exactly the speediest AI image generator. You will wait a bit for your images, but the results are well worth the wait. If you want speedier AI image generation, check out Mage Space. You can make Stable Diffusion version 1.5 and 2.1 images for free. If you subscribe at the pro level, you'll get about two dozen extra models, and your images will appear within seconds. Mage and Instant Art share a few models, but most of the models on Mage are different from Instant Art. On the home page, enter what you want to see in the box under Create Anything. Wow, anything! Then choose a model. You have a few aspect ratio options, guidance scales, and steps. Click the Advanced box if you want a complete list of options, including Seed. Generation is so quick, you could try the same prompt easily with other models. Some of the best models are Deliberate, Dream Shaper, Arcane, and open journey. The models won't be excellent across the board, you'll still need some prompting craft to get a good image. Like with most stable diffusion prompts, the more details you add, the better your image will be. But remember that these are specialized stable diffusion models. It's not that you can't use models for other than their intended use, the results may just be stylized or a bit random. Using Portrait Plus to make a landscape, the image might be quite nice or could be a disaster. If you're looking for a beautiful woman, don't ask a model like Creepy Critters. The hard part is finding the model that fits your style. Both Mage Space and Instant Art let you search images made by the community. If you're into landscapes, search for landscapes. When you find images you like, click on them and note the model. Both platforms make it easy to rerun or remix other creators' prompts. 
simply click on a prompt and click the rerun or remix button if you would like to change something, like the model. AI is a very sharing community. One word of warning though, some of these models were made because creators felt restricted by not safe for work filters. If your aesthetic is a bit gory or a bit sexy, you may find a model you're happy with. But some of these models aren't for creators wanting a more PG-13 experience. Stable diffusion models are designed to be specialized, so finding the right fit for your aesthetic and subject is key. Mage, Space, and Instant Art are great places to start, but many, many more models exist, and there are many more being designed every day. Keep your eye open on places like Hugging Face, where you can often try these models out for free. Tell us what your favorite stable diffusion model is in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.